Hello all you crazy people out there, my name is Dragonite and welcome back to Bravely Default 2. Help me. You okay? What's the matter? Uh, a horrible man and woman took me, but then an old man and another woman came and saved me, but then the man got attacked and now he's really badly hurt. We'd better go help him out. Will you show us where he is? Whoa! Are you okay? Wait a second. You're the guy from before. Ah, uh, uh, greetings, young seafarer. You're hurt. We need to get you seen to right away. <sighs> Tis not. But the princess. What happened to Gloria? Is she okay? The fiends took her. <sighs> Never mind that now. Let's get you to bed. You're right. Come on. <sighs> well, I'll be jiggled. So you're the famous Sir Sloan, eh? <laughs> Lady Emma told me all kinds of wild tales about you, my man. Oh, and how is dear Emma? Is she well? I, uh... I'm afraid she passed on six months ago or so. I see. Thou wert her apprentice. Time truly does fly. Why, I can recall when the good lady studied under another herself. But forgive me. Much as I would love to spend the day in fond reminiscence, alas, there are more pressing matters at hand. I must away and wrest her highness from the clutches of those unconscionable <coughs> rogues. Sorry, but you won't be resting anyone from anything in your condition. <laughs> I'd be surprised if you could rest yourself out of bed. But I must! Well, how about I join you? You are kind indeed, young sir, but I cannot allow it. The rogues in question are in possession of an asterisk. Well, that's all the more reason to go deal with them, right? Besides... I owe you after you help me out back there at the beach. But good sir, I... I'm coming too. If there's an asterisk involved, I'm there with bells on. Thine aid is appreciated, but... Might I ask why the asterisk would interest thee so? Oh aye, ask away pal. It's because of this old book, see? I found it when I was going through Lady Emma's stuff. I couldn't read a word of it when I first picked the thing up. But we have an asterisk near it, and the gobbledygook starts making sense. And I'm nothing if not nosy, so I set out on a quest to find enough of these special wee stones to read the whole thing. Intriguing. If I can find another asterisk and help your pal into the bargain, then everyone's a winner. Great, then we should leave right away. Though it weighs heavy on my conscience to enlist the aid of strangers, I... Fear I have little choice. You have my thanks. Her Highness has been taken to an abandoned building north of the town. Let us make haste! Sir Sloan is now accompanying the party. Okay. Not an actual party member, I have to assume. Just a, uh, an NPC that we're dragging along behind us. Occasional companions, you'll sometimes be joined by other characters during the course of your adventure. You won't be able to control any such companions, but they will help you help help out with the odd attack and healing spell. Oh! Okay, so they kind of are a party member. They're not just, like, a name that's in the menu on the screen. Um, the way that they are in, in some other games. Interesting. Um, tense. You can use tents out in the field and save at points in dungeons. Using one will restore your, your HP and MP and cure any status ailments, so it's a good idea to take a few along with you. Yeah, I, um, that, that last, that last little session of me venturing out onto the overworld, I think I, I think I could. Um, collecting asterisks will enab enable you to, <clears throat> I'm sorry. Collecting asterisks will enable you to change your party member's jobs. Open the menu and select jobs. To do so, you'll want to strike a good balance between all the roles you assign. Usually that means, like, a uh, physical attacker, a healer, a, a magic user, and some various miscellaneous... Uh, job, uh, like the thief or whatever. Can I can I open the menu? Wait, what's the button that opens the menu? That's the X button. Okay. 
Uh, I did want to look through my, uh, my menu a little bit. Travel log. This is store details in the map and stuff, isn't it? All right. This is a list of all the stories. The party chat, comrades in arms. I read that one. Uh, tutorials. I don't really feel like revisiting those, although I will if I have to, if I have to take it like a long break between recording at some point. Um, oh, I can, I can, I can, um, cycle through with the, the Z triggers as well. All right, head out for, head for the outlaws hideout. I assume that's the place where, uh, can I actually, like, move the, move the pen cursor around on the map? I assume that's the place where I, I, like, walked in the building and, and the night guy was there blocking the way. All right, items, uh, of no use now. Magic. Yeah, I do need to heal. Let me do that before I do anything else because I am going to forget otherwise. All right, that was what 80 pigs she said, and I have I have 1,200 already. All right, definitely I, I would definitely like to let my my Pokemon rest at the Pokemon Center. Um, magic. I don't think there's any magic of interest on, on like the overworld or anything. At, at least not at this point in the game. Equipment might be worth looking through. Um, do I have any other pieces of equipment I can give to this guy? It doesn't look like it. Oops. Uh, any other shields? A hat. Um. That one's... Okay, I have two of these. Can I... Can I scroll through? Okay, I can scroll through my different party members with uh, the left and right bumpers. Um... In the future, that will make my stats go down. In the future, I will just edit out sections of the video where I look through menus. I just want to, uh, I just want to have the, this here at the, at, at the beginning so I can um, show people a little bit of what this might look like, perhaps, if they're looking for, if they're looking to see what the game is like without actually having it themselves yet. Um, God, these are a lot of numbers. Clothes spins. Keep the wearer awake, sleep, immuni sleep immunity. I am going to put sleep immu immunity on you because you are going to be my damage output for the time being. Right now, the freelancers are just sort of, um, like, assistance uh, support characters, really. And now that, I, now that I put it like that, I am allowed to have two different jobs as, um, uh, like, the fire asterisk, the, the black mage asterisk on more than one character at a time, right? So I think I will... I guess I can at least give that, I can at least assign that as a sub job. Just, uh, because I don't have anything else to, to equip, equip yet. I can at least assign that as a sub job. Um, it's not like they have staves or anything that would really boost their magic attack, but just, just so that I can do fire damage if I want to do fire damage. And I can see, can I, um, X for details? These, this is the list of uh, attacks that we're going to be learning later. Fire, Blizzard, Thunder, and then level 4 is Poison. Um, I assume I acquired these guys at level 3. Uh, level 4 is Poison, level 5 is Lunar Powered. Oh, this is your proficiencies. Uh... It doesn't look like... Can, I can't get details on this, can I? Oh, I can. During the night, offensive magic evasion and luck are increased, and 4% of MP is restored each turn. Um, okay, that's a passive. That's why it's green. Uh, then Fire, Blizzara, and Thundara are your level 6, 7, and 8 spells. A Spear Attack. I remember that. I don't remember exactly what it does. I remember the name. Perform an extremely powerful fire magic attack on on a target or all targets. Oh no, that's, that's Fire Aga. Restore an amount of MP based on damage inflicted with the attack command. That's another passive. Okay. And let's just look through the, uh, the freelancers. Examine tree is a small bit of HP recovery. I actually forgot I had that. I could have saved a couple of potions. Divining rod. This is for finding a treasure chest in dungeons, right? Forage. Search for items. The items found will depend on the user's level. That's probably just, I could, that's an active uh, skill, so I can use it in battle and just, like, acquire a random, dungeon, a, a random item. Dungeon master. Is this the one that tells me how many treasure chests there are? Oh, nullify terrain inflicted damage. That's a good thing to have. Lucky Charm. Increase luck for five turns. Self-healing uh, cures cures issues when battle ends. I don't do that automatically. I feel like that should be automatic. I feel like that's just one of those quality of life things that you, you should have in a game just to 
reduce frustration on the part of the player. Purge, remove Berserk, Confusion, Dread, Charm, and Doom from a target. That's just a general status healing move. JP up, increase, uh, increase the amount of job points you earn. Square one, remove various status effects from a target, which I guess is just a more general version of Purge. Maybe it can, um, it can cure more status effects. Maybe it can cure some of the more esoteric effects. Body Slam. Deal physical damage to a target based on the user's encumbrance and delay the target's turn. Fun. And JP up and up. That's going to... Um, that's going to increase my job point acquisition further. Are these... Do I have to equip these? Do I have to equip these? No, no, no. That's not what I meant to do. Do I have to equip the, uh, like, divining rods? I don't see an option for that. Oh, abilities. That's what I was looking for. Alright, let's equip divining rod. And... Hitting the wrong buttons here. You're gonna have Divining Rod. The wizard is going to, uh... The wizard doesn't have any passive yet, and Adele. Divining Rod, redundantly, is... D having Divining Rod twice feels kind of redundant. Alright, attributes. I assume once once I'm later in the game, and once I have more asterisks, I will be able to equip uh, equip passives from any of the job classes, right? I think that's how Bravely Default worked, how the, how the first games worked. Um... I played an unhealthy amount of Octopath Traveler, and that's also how that game worked. Octopath Traveler is another game by, I believe, the same studio, um, which works on a very similar job system, although it's not, like, exactly the same. It doesn't use the exact Final Fantasy job classes the way the Bravely Default um, games do. Um, Octopath, is, Octopath is another game I really want to do a Let's Play of someday, but... I've got to uh, I've got to pace out myself when it comes to my hundred hour RPGs. This is just this is just a summary screen. Yeah, I'm not gonna spend too much time looking at the summary screen. Lore, monster guide, Pokedex, item decks, weapon decks, and armor decks. Um, options. This is where this is where all these things are. Settings. What language options are there? Um, okay, so. This is a pretty standard set of, of language options. Uh, English, Japanese, French, Italian, German, Spanish, uh, traditional and simplified Chinese and Korean. Uh, what about voice? It's probably just English and Japanese, right? Yeah, just English and Japanese to the voice. Camera settings. Oh, that's that's normal camera settings? That, that That's not inverted for the, for the overworld? I thought that was inverted. I'll leave it as it is. I don't mind it. Uh, volume. Auto save is on. Auto walk is on. Or auto run is off, rather. Objective markers are on. I'm, I do want to wander around. I'm going to probably ignore the quest marker for the most part and just go wherever. But I do want to have them on just so that when I do that, I can find my way back to where I need to go. Auto advanced dialogue is on, uh, making this a little bit more, shall we say, cinematic and um, reducing the chances that I'll just sort of space out and forget to advance the text myself. Uh, text, bl text display speed is medium. That's fine. What's the, uh, what's the exc exclamation mark there for? Is that just to indicate that a setting has been changed? I think so. Um, job specific outfits. That's cool. Choose whether or not party members change outfit based on the current job. Um, I do like to see the designs. I, I do like to have all my characters dressed up as, as wizards when they're ho all holding the black mage asterisk. Display controls during event scenes. I can turn that off, I think. No, I'll leave it on just in case I, I mess something up. Remember cursor location. Yes, please. Uh, quick default. Why is that off? I feel like that should be on by default. Control mode. Two-handed, one-handed, PS3? Kind of? Uh, depth of field blur. I don't think so. I'll leave that off. That can be annoying. Uh, difficult difficulty settings, lastly. Okay, we will not discard those changes. Okay, do I have to actually hit apply? Apply? Oh, okay. It, it applied them, but it didn't back out of the menu. Uh, controls. Oh, do I have fully rebindable controls, or is this just, like, a list? One-handed, two-handed. I'm gonna go, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna go with two-handed. Because, again, PS3 controller. And quit the title. Okay, that's all I want to see in the menu for now. Uh, let me get out of here. I will go back to the store and buy some junk. Uh, Adele and... Adele and, and what's-your-face? Elvis. You're standing there. Are you Elvis? Are you the wizard? 
You're the wizard, I don't see Adele. Anyway, um, let me just buy some, some stuff real quick. All right, I don't know if I can buy more uh, weapons or anything yet. I haven't, I, I kind of blew all my money on like other stuff, but all right, not, not important, I guess. I guess that's all there is in here. Hang on. I guess that wouldn't be Elvis because he's in my party right now. Um, I did go in back and check. I can buy, uh, I can buy equipment. Buy weapons and armor and stuff. I just, I just don't have the ability to right now because I blew all my money on the other things, like I said. Phoenix Downs and whatever. Yes, I, I just looked through the options menu game. Thank you. So I need to go, I need to go in that general direction. Alright. Uh, did I already poke my head over here? This is the beach. I don't think... I don't think I can, um... I can really explore that much on the beach. Although, I'll, I'll look around these rocks just to see if there's, um... Any more... Like, gelatinous enemies and or treasure chests or anything. Um... No treasure chests? Oh, there's this thing here. Boy, this is pretty. This game has some really nice water. Not to... Not to spend too much time on the nice water memes from, from the days of Miiverse, but... This game really does have some nice water. It does, it's not affected by the, uh, the lantern or anything, but... Oh boy. Rare monsters. You'll occasionally come across certain rare breeds of monsters when wandering around the world. They're much stronger than their fellow creatures, and wading into battle with one unprepared can be a very bad idea. So when you spot one, make sure you're good and ready if you plan to take it on, and don't forget to save first. I don't mind saving. Alright. Can I just sort of wander around the back of you? Kukri? Um, if I equip that to someone, will their damage output go up? I keep trying to hit the plus button for pause instead of, instead of the, uh... I guess what would be the, the square on the PS3 controller, whatever that's going to be mapped to um, on the Nintendo controller. Um, equipment. Dagger. I think this should make my attack go up by three points. And also my aggro very slightly, my critical chance very slightly. Um, you know what? If I get rid of the shield and equip the fancy thing, all right, that'll make my attack go up by four points, by five points instead of three points. Is it worth it? No, it's not worth it. All right, we'll just get rid of the regular dagger then. Okay. I I did also see that there's like a weight limit. I remember in the first Bravely Default games, there was a uh, like certain characters could only equip certain types of types of equipment. I think, anyway. I don't know if I'm misremembering from some other game. Um, I will leave this fight in because it's supposedly special. Thanks, buddy. Um, okay. Let's just quick default on everybody. You're gonna do it as well. Don't trust you. You are helping out with the, uh, the item spammage. Good gravy. That was through default as well. Um. I'm gonna want to come back to you. 50,000 HP. Okay. I mean. <laughs> it's going. It's going very badly indeed. Is there a surrender button? I don't see a run button. Can I hit, like, minus and run? Can I hit one of the sticks? Trigger buttons? Oh, ZL, ZR, flee. Alright, yeah, let's, let's do that. Would be wise. Okay, um, the rare monster is gone. Don't know if you're gonna respawn or if I just actually just blew my chance. Um. Two of my characters are dead, but they're still running around. That that makes sense. Video game logic. Let me go back and heal again. 